Good morning, everyone. Today, we will be discussing the suborder Mesostigmata. Mesostigmata is an order of a mites. As such, Dermanicius gallinae is one of them. Red mite or roost mite, it can infest chickens, turkeys, pigeons, doves, canaries, and various wild birds worldwide. In the absence of birds, the mite will attack on humans, domestic livestock, and pets. However, on humans, they can feed on people but cannot infest and survive on. The life cycle of the red mite. From eggs, which is deposited in cracks, it will turn into larvae after 2 to 3 days. Later on, from larvae, it will become protonymph after 1 to 2 days. Then, protonymph will become deotonymph after 1 to 2 days. Later on, it will become an adult after 2 to 3 days as shown in the figure. The red mites are nocturnal feeders because the adults and nymphs hide in nests and crevices during the day and attack the birds at night. Furthermore, life cycle may be completed only one week. Thus, population can increase rapidly. Um, red mites will increase rapidly during warmer months while more slowly during in cold weather. Adult mites may survive without a blood meal for 4 to 5 months and it will spread from farm to farm by sparrows, pigeons, egg floods, bird crates, and people, etc. In pathology, the mites mainly cause irritation and annoyance to the chicken, making it restless if it is in low numbers. Whereas, large numbers of mites can suck enough blood, causing anemia in the chicken, resulting in pale calm and wattles, weakness and dullness. Also, red mite infestation causes restlessness and stress in the flock as well as skin irritation, feather pecking, dermatitis, and reduced plumage quality is the external um, identification that the chicken has the red mite. Also, in egg production, there is an economic decrease as well as weight gain and feed conversion efficiency. Moreover, mortality of chicks and chickens in cases of extreme infestations. And because of this, um, there is an effect on the farm stock. They will become irritated and stressed because of this infestation. As you can see here in the picture, the chicken has the red mite and it shows that uh, the wattles are pale because of the mite sucking the blood. There are various control methods that can be used to prevent the infestations of the red mite. Obtaining mite tree birds and using a good sanitation practices help to prevent the buildup of mite populations. However, once infested, control may be achieved by using a high pressure sprayer. Spraying or dusting the birds and also their litter or by targeting inside of the house and all hiding places for poultry red mite can help to control the infestation. But the house will remain infested for up to 9 months after the birds are removed. Inert dust can also be effective control but the application rates needs to be high. Also, systemic control with Invermectin or moxidectin is effective but for only short periods. It is also infective, close to toxic levels, and may require repeated use. The next mites is called Ornithonysus salivarium. Ornithonysus salivarium is a hematophagous ectoparasite of poultry. In both size and appearance, it resembles the red mites or also known as Dermanysus gallinae. This blood feeding parasite is broadly distributed and has been reported on 72 host species of North America birds in 26 families. 
Ornithonysus salivarium is also known as Northern Fulmites or uh, Ornithonysus borsa, a tropical fulmites, most important parasite of layers and breeding chicken in the USA, can infest chickens, turkeys, pigeons, and various wild birds. In the absence of birds, the mite will attack humans, domestic livestock, and pets. The life cycle of Ornithonysus salivarium was eggs deposited on feeders, larvae, protonems, diotonems, adults live on the bird, complete, can complete their life cycle in 5 to 12 days. Adults spend most of the time on host but some may be found on rust and in cracks. It may survive for 3 to 7 weeks in absence of avian host. The, pat the pathology of Ornithonysus salivarium Northern fall mites are obligate blood sucking parasites. Mites are typically found by parting feeders in the vent area, which may have thick, crusty skin, severe scaving, and soiled feeders. Mites are a serious fest of fall causing loss weight, decrease egg production. Decrease feed conversion and death. How to control the Ornithonysus salivarium first is monitor it and treat early. Treatment requires multiple application. Treat truly first, dust, second spray, and lastly is systematic drugs. So we are going to talk about the suborder Astigmata. So Astigmata is a clad of mites in the super order Acariformis. Astigmata has been ranked as an order of the suborder in the past but was lowered to an unranked clad astigmatina of the clad dismonomatides. It is synonym to dismonomata in the order Cercoptiformis. So astigmatina is now made up of two groups, Acaridia and Soroptidia, which has been the suborders of the order astigmata in the past. The suborder astigmata contains the family Cercoptidae. It is a Cercoptis each or a scabies mites. Cercoptis scabii. It is a species which causes the scabies in man, sheep, goats, cattle, pig, dogs, and horses. It tends to be the host specific but will transmit between host species. This is the classification of the species Cercoptis scabii. So it is on the kingdom Animalia, which contains the phylum Arthropoda, which is same as the subphylum Chelicerata and the class Arachnida, which is same also of the order Cercoptiformis, which, con which contains the family Cercoptidae and the genus Cercoptis. So Cercoptis scabii, or the each mite, is parasitic mite that burrows into the skin and causes scabies. So the mite is found in all parts of the world. So the disease produces intense, itchy skin rashes when impregnated female tunnels into the stratum corneum of the skin and deposit eggs into the burrow. So the next species under the suborder Astigmata is the Notodres cati or the mange of cats. So its classification is on the kingdom Animalia, which contains the phylum Arthropoda, which is same as the subphylum Chelicerata that contains the class Arachnida. It is also same as the order Cercoptiformis, which falls under the family Cercoptidae and same as the genus Notodres. Morphology of the Notodres cati, it is round, globular, and has numerous seta. Its life cycle and epidemiology includes it forms burrows in the skin in which female deposits eggs. The eggs hatch in 3 to 8 days, and larvae migrate to the skin surface and molt twice, forming two nymph stages. So the adult stage is reached between 4 to 6 days. After the eggs hatch and the entire life cycle takes on 10 to 14 days. So it can live up to the host for up to 6 weeks, especially during winter when temperature is lower. So the notodric mange, also referred to as the feline scabies, is a highly contagious skin infestation caused by an ectoparasite and skin burrowing mite, notodres cati. Notodris cati is primarily a parasite of felids, 
but is also can infect rodents, lagomorphs, and occasionally also dogs and foxes. This skin disease also has zoonotic potential. As an infestation is called acariasis, which refers to a rash that is caused by mites. Compare the pathology of the notodric mange on different animal species. On swine, mange concentrated about the top of the neck, shoulders, and ears, and along the back, although it may be found over the entire body. So the skin is cracked and thickly encrusted with scabs. For the cattle, each mite occur where hair is short, namely on the brisket and around the base of the tail. So on dogs, mange usually appears first on the muzzle, around the eyes, and spread to the back of the and the abdomen. On sheep, mange occurs principally around the face and causes black muzzle. And on cats, notoendric mange begins at the tips of the ears and gradually spreads over the face and the head. Here are the examples of the pathologic lesions which can be seen on different animal species caused by the notoedric mange. For the treatment, on swine, it must treat sow as she is carrier for transmission to pilots. So no products are visital. Therefore, multiple treatments will be required for all species. Certain antiparasitic drugs used to control notoedric mange includes Salamectin, moxidectin, ivermectin, and lime sulfur dips. Lime sulfur dips is commonly used and safe pesticide to control notodic mange in cats. So, lime sulfur are also used for Cercoptes, Demodex, Chilochella, Lingzikarus, Chigers, and lice infestations. The family Seroptidae are a family of parasitic mites that lives on the surface of the skin. There are two distinct species, the Autodectes species and the Seroptis ovis. The Autodectes species are parasitic mites that are external parasites that are present on dogs, cats, rabbits, and mammals. These are also known as ear mites for they cause ear irritation and scratching injuries. Seroptis ovis are scab mites that are present in sheep, cattle, horses, rabbits, and other mammals. They cause seroptic mange, which is a skin disease. These are prevalent in the southeastern U.S. but are very rare elsewhere in North America. The family Nebidocopditae are parasitic mites that infect the skin or the feather follicles of birds. There are two distinct species, Nebidocoptis mutans and Nebidocoptis galanae. Nebidocoptis mutans are referred as scaly leg mites that causes distortion in legs and claws. Nebidocoptis galenae, however, are depluming itch mites that causes feather loss. The mites burrow and live beneath the skin which they will deposit their eggs in the channels. Nebidocoptis mutants are disseminated very easily through contact with infectious diseases. Nebidocoptis mutants burrow beneath leg scales causing the scales to be lifted and a swollen condition of the shanks, which causes deformity and incrustation. Nibidocoptis galenae, however, burrows in feather shafts, causing intense itching, forcing the host to pluck its feathers off. The next one is the Demodex canis, also known as red mange in dogs. It is an elongated mite in hair follicles and sebaceous glands. Eggs are laid hatched, then mature from larvae to nymphs to adults. Large numbers of mice can cause pathology and puppies acquire them at nursing. Mice are transmitted to other hosts through direct contact and its life cycle takes about three to four weeks in dogs. Mice target hosts that have a weak immune system and the localized amidocosis is common in puppies around 3 to 6 months of age and it appears in small circumscribed areas in alopecia, erythema and scaling of lips, preorbital and the front legs. Pruritus is maybe absent or mild. The generalized demodecosis is prognosis-guarded and intractable, meaning this is hard to control. 
everything up, Popules, Alpicia, Oily Seborrhea, Edema, and Crust are one of the observed symptoms of generalized hemodicosis. It is often accompanied by pyoderma, which causes folliculitis, furunculosis, or cellulitis, and the demodectic pododermatitis, which is common in digital, interdigital, and plantar. The juvenile onset hemodicosis, as pop gets older, delocalized, progresses to generalize severe disease, and this is due to an inherited immunological defect. Another one is the adult onset tenudicosis, which is triggered by immunosuppressive pathologies. For instance, the neoplastic process, which is the uncontrolled or the abnormal growth of cells and tissues in the body. The debilitating cysts, which may come in many shapes or forms. And the last one, the immunosuppressive therapy which is a drug regimen that used to lower the body immune response. Age, condition, other illness or infection, and genetics are the predisposing factors. Diagnosis can be done through deep skin scrapes or hair plucks. Treatment success evaluation can be done to two consecutive negative skin scrapings with the interval of one month. Treatment Whole body amitras dips every two weeks. Amitras is a topical treatment used to treat generalized demodicosis. Another is fluorilaner. Fluorilaner is an acaricide and insecticide used to treat ticks and fleas infestation. Other extra-label therapies include macrolytic lactones, milbimycin, moxidectin, and ivermectin. Isoxaxolins, just like fluoralaner, includes sarolaner, lutelaner, afoxolaner. Treat secondary bacterial infestations aggressively. Contraindication, corticosteroids. Contraindication is defined as a specific situation in which a drug, procedure, or surgery should not be used because it may be harmful to the animal. So corticosteroids should not be used or administered if the dog is suffering from demodicosis. To prevent the disease or spread of demodicosis, Dogs with juvenile onset generalized demodicosis should not be used for breeding.